In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what the Elementor Pro countdown widget looks like, how it works, all of its settings, and some cool demos of what you can do with it, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what is going on? My name is Bjorn. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and always getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video is part of the Elementor Pro playlist in this channel link in the description down below or part of the comments down below. Make sure you check out the whole playlist to see all the widgets in action. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get on the Elementor Pro Ultimate Course waitlist, which I'm building right now. I'm still in the process of building it. It's not completed yet. Getting on the waitlist is no obligation. But if you do like Elementor and you want to know how to do everything with it, get on that waitlist. Link in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's hit in the screen capture. I'll see you there. The next one we'll do is the countdown timer. So I'm going to copy this headline again, paste it down here. Call this countdown timer. Click on the grid, find the countdown timer widget. Just call it countdown, not countdown timer. But we throw it in there and it automatically selects a date, 30 days, 23 hours and 17 minutes from now. I didn't preset that, so that's just what it pulled up. And this is the default view. You don't have too many styling options with the countdown timer unless you're going to do some custom CSS. But you can easily change the date that it goes to. So you just click on this area here, click on the date in the date picker. So February 14th, why not Valentine's Day? 153 days to figure out what to get for Valentine's from this recording. The view, you can change to inline. You can also change it to block. You'll see the text goes in line with the numbers block there top and bottom you can turn off say the seconds maybe you don't want to see seconds maybe you don't want minutes or hours you can just show days number of days to christmas you could have in here or you could have them all on you could just turn hours off and have days and minutes you can either show the labels which is the days hours seconds minutes or not show them you can make a custom label so here's where you could translate them to a different language. I don't know what you do besides translate them because these are literally days. So you couldn't call this uh, number of bunnies because you just couldn't. Um, I guess you could, it just wouldn't make any sense. But you could, I guess, make it lowercase. Maybe if that fits in with your branding better. I think translation is the biggest reason you'd have that. If we go to style, we can change the container width, which changes the size of our countdown blocks. Change the color, of course. Make it green if we want to. I'm going to keep it on that blue. Give it a border. And this border goes around, looks like the individual, yeah, it's around the individual boxes. If I make that black, you can really see it. This border goes around the individual timer boxes. You can change the space between the timer boxes. Have no space. Have lots of space. You can change the padding, which is within the timer box. So if you want them to be very tall, we can change it to 100 on the top, 100 on the bottom. Now we have a very tall timer. The content, we can change the color of the digits, typography of the digits, label, which is the words, the color, and typography of those. And that is really all the options you have for countdown timers unless you get fancy with some custom CSS, which isn't that big of a deal. You can find a lot of custom CSS online for timers, so you can probably adapt some of that. But that is really all there is to the countdown timer element in Elementor. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And also consider buying Elementor through the affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase it that way, but Elementor does send me a few dollars commission, which helps me keep these glorious lights on. And if you do purchase through there, thank you very much. And next up was clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.